On May 9, 2022, the Bangsamor Autonomous Region and Muslim Mindanao, or BARM, is set to hold its inaugural elections. If all goes well with the transition, this will be the first time that BARM constituents will elect members of their very own Bangsamoro Parliament. Here's a quick recap on the story behind this historic and highly anticipated election. The Bangsamoro Organic Law was ratified at the plebiscite last January 25, 2019, after a resounding yes vote from the ARMM region and Cotabato City. It formed BARM, a political entity that embodies the principles laid out in the BOL, that of the right to meaningful self-governance and due recognition of the culture and traditions of the Bangsamoro. BARM's creation signaled the end of more than four decades of armed conflict and violence in Mindanao and opened a new chapter in our history, which begins with the election of the Bangsamoro Parliament. As mandated by the Bangsamoro Organic Law, BARM will adopt a parliamentary form of government where the executive branch is elected by the legislature. This means the chief minister, the foremost head of the Bangsamoro government, is not directly elected by the voting citizens, but instead chosen by the members of parliament. So what is a parliament anyway? The Bangsamoro parliament wields the powers of the Bangsamoro government. It has legislative authority, exercised by members of parliament, the primary lawmakers of BARM. It also has executive authority, exercised by the chief minister, deputy chief ministers, and heads of ministry. They implement laws and execute programs and projects for BARM's development. How are they elected and who elects them? Registered voters of the BARM vote for the members of the parliament during general elections. These elected members of parliament then decide on a chief minister on the day of parliament's first session. The chosen chief minister nominates two deputy chief ministers to be elected by the members of the parliament. These nominees must be from two different regions of BARM other than the one the chief minister is from. For example, if the chief minister hails from southwestern Mindanao, the two deputy chief ministers should be from the north central and south central Mindanao. A total of 80 representatives make up the Bangsamoro Parliament. 50% or half the body are representatives of different political parties. 40% or 32 members of parliament are representatives of the districts of BARM. And 10% or 8 members are sector representatives, two from non-Moro indigenous peoples and settler communities, and one each from the women's sector, the youth sector, the traditional leaders, and the ulama. Every member of the Bangsamoro Parliament must be a Filipino citizen, a registered BARM voter, able to read and write, and at least 25 years of age, except for youth sector representatives. Youth sector representatives must be between 18 and 30 years old on the day of elections. District representatives must be registered voters in the districts they serve and must have resided in their districts for at least one year before the day of elections. On its first session after elections, members of parliament will elect their officers. This includes the speaker, the deputy speaker, and other officers deemed necessary. They will also adopt their parliamentary rules. For their legislative function, bills to be passed must undergo three readings held on three different dates unless the chief minister certifies a bill as urgent. The bill is then forwarded to the chief minister, who must sign it within 30 days. After 30 days, the chief minister fails to act on the bill. It will be automatically passed into law. Ten days after the chief minister signs a bill into law, the Speaker of Parliament must then submit to the President and to Congress a certified true copy of the law that the Bangsamoro Parliament approved. The Bangsamoro government or the government of the day may be abolished through a vote of no confidence by two-thirds of the members of the parliament. If this happens, the chief minister advises the wali or the ceremonial head of the Bangsamoro parliament to hold another general election within 120 days after the dissolution of the parliament. The current chief minister and cabinet will then continue to govern BARM while waiting for the formation of a new parliament. However, they are not allowed to approve contracts or spend public funds 
except to pay for salaries and other expenses incidental to the regular operations of the BARM government. Now, what does all this talk of forming the Bangsamoro Parliament have to do with you? As a Filipino and a citizen, you hold the key to immense power. Your voice is the lifeblood of change. You choose the leaders who will shape the new ways of living and forging progress for the Bangsamoro. On May 2022, a new chapter may unfold within Bangsamoro's long and rich history, and the fate of its story rests in the hands of your vote.